Hi, this is Dave Iker. I'm at NIAC. I'm here with Jeff Notkin from Meteorite Men. And Jeff, a good friend of ours of the magazine, he's going to tell us the latest and greatest on that famous California fireball that we're all thinking about. Hello viewers, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. So we're here at NIAC and NEEF for the big astronomy event, and here is an amazing story. Two years ago, when my co-host Steve Arnold of Meteorite Men and I were here for the NEEF event, there was an enormous fireball over Wisconsin, and Steve took off chasing it, and I came to NEEF to fill my commitment. And the same things happened again in 2012. We were preparing to head out to Neak and Neef, and there's an enormous fireball over California and Nevada. But this one is intriguing. A couple of pieces have already been found by our friend Robert Ward, who's a fantastic meteorite hunter from Arizona, and it's a rare carbonaceous chondrite. That means it's a friable meteorite, it's very fragile, and NASA engineers and specialists have extrapolated the incoming mass, and it's thought to be very large. But because of the delicate nature of carbonaceous chondrites, it may have vaporized almost entirely. So there might only be small pieces on the ground. And here's the funny part. I was reading an article in the newspaper this morning, and they were interviewing a lady who was out walking her dog in the supposed fall zone. And she goes, well, I watched that show Meteor Men. It's Meteorite Men. I watched that show Meteor Men, and I've seen the guys out there with their magnets on the sticks picking out meteorites. And so I'm out here collecting them myself. And she holds up her magnet cane, and there's some bits of gravel and various stuff stuck to a magnet. And the lesson here is carbonaceous chondrites do not really attract to a magnet because they <laughs> don't have a lot of iron in them. So if you're out there hunting for the California fireball, keep your eyes open. Don't worry about the magnets. Just look closely. And if you find something, please let Astronomy Magazine know.